Hi, um, can you both introduce yourselves and then let me know what brought you here today and speak on Urban Alchemy, please? Okay, I'll start. My name is Robert Dixon. I'm a director, manager of Urban Sites Education and Research, working in partnership with the Exploratorium, Recreation and Parks, and Urban Alchemy. I've been a part of this company for almost three years now. Uh, I started working in 2019. And what we do is provide safety and service to the community. It started off with us just operating pit stops, those portable bathrooms that you see throughout the city. It evolved into us doing uh, street work where we do trash pickup, which ironically is, is protecting our environment as well as the people that live in those spaces, mostly uh, people with mental health, homelessness, addiction. And we've, uh, you know, we've we've moved on to also doing hospitality work where we we shelter in place homeless folks during COVID-19. And now we're here because we're in part in partnership with the Exploratorium who are creating exhibits in public parks where we are managing those exhibits and facilitating those exhibits to the public. So my name is Brian Shepard. I'm, I'm a director of uh, the homeless encampment, the, the safe sleeping village in, in the Tenderloin district. Um, and t just to piggyback off what Robert said, we provide safety and service to the homeless community, exclusively to them, but to the community at large. Um, and what brought me here today is just to represent for Urban Alchemy, to, to shake hands and rub elbows with those that protect the environment. We all do our part. I'm here to, to represent the, the city aspect, so to speak, and um, just to find out how more I can help. We're working with the Mycelian Youth Group, uh, San Francisco Port, uh, the Exploratorium, Recreation and Park, all of our partners are here trying to come together and to have conversations about the importance of our environment and how can we all do our part to make it safer and better for our next generations to come. And also I'd like to add that uh, as a person who's, I'm from Los Angeles and I'm born and raised in the city. So as a city dweller, or so to speak, we tend to forget about the environment. We tend to think about what's happening in our cities and not what's outside in the country life, in the environments, in the parks. So coming here for me is just reminding me of what's most important. Like you said, I have, you know, I have five grandchildren. So the next generations to come, we're, we're working to protect them so that they don't have to go through all the, uh, the, the health aspects, the, the smog and the, the litter water and you know, things like that. So I think it's very important that we be out here so we can take it back to the cities and share with people that we work with.